So the bobblehead syndrome is an interesting syndrome. It's a very uh, unique symptom related to a very uh, special area of the brain. Very few children are diagnosed with that. 30 years of practice, this is the first case I saw. Mickey uh, came to us with uh, a progressive bobbing of his head. So on the MRI scan that was ordered, they, there was a very large cyst that he had in a very deep location in the brain in the area we call the third ventricle. And the cyst was in itself, the cyst is benign because it has only spinal fluid, but the cyst was so large that it had obstructed uh, the fluid draining from the brain. So he also had hydrocephalus because of that. So the main treatment ought to be draining the fluid out. Uh, the, uh, and that's the other specialty thing we have. We have ways of doing very minimal invasive uh, surgery here with the endoscope able to, in his case, for example, you're able to go in there and drain the cyst and remove some of the capsule of the cyst, which is this arachnoid, so that it decompresses the brain. The general outcome from this is uh, very good, actually. Now that we don't have to do craniotomies to treat lesions like this and just use an endoscope, uh, first of all, the incision for an endoscope is uh, less than half an inch. Uh, and so they heal very quickly from that incision. The surgical time is very short also. In his case, we probably took about 12, 15 minutes to do the surgery. I think one of the good things we have here is a, a dedicated children's hospital. We admit children with all kinds of uh, unusual disorders from cardiac to brain and things like that. And one of the things I enjoy when I treat children here with problems is that the uh, nursing and the specialized nursing care that they have in the unit and the infrastructure they have in the dedicated children's hospital for recovery of, of the children, the facilities they have for the parents, the social workers they have, everything is dedicated to child care and all the things that go around it. You have a sick child, you also have very, very uh, anxious parents and uh, many, many uh, nursing staff and uh, folks around in the children's hospital that help these uh, families uh, cope with uh, what's going to happen to their child. We're going to be grateful for this patient. I think many of the students and residents that were here while he was being treated uh, will have learned from that, but we hope to be able to keep this case on file so that others would look at this and learn from it and, and catch the diagnosis early enough.